Okay. Go hey, you. we're here. Oh, hey guys. Hi, we're back. everybody. We are here for <laughs> another live stream podcast. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so for the last, I feel like the last couple questions we've had, we've sort of touched on this idea of um, this redefinition of an art break or basically we've always had this idea of an art break, but, but coming to an understanding that when we say the word art break, it might not be what other people think. We yeah. might not be aligning. So with things like the fact that you don't have to have an art studio to take an art break, you can use a piece of paper and a pen, you don't even need a piece of paper and a pen. So with all of that in mind, um, the question for today is how can you or a person, how can a person discover their personal art break today? Like what steps do they need to take to do that? Okay. Well, I think we talked about it before, but remember, it's kind of like a muscle. So it's kind of like exercise. So you have to kind of think of it like that. It's not, you know, you can't run a marathon <laughs> the first day that you start. So, right. So right. Be, um, yeah. <laughs> be open and gentle with yourself when you're looking for an art break. I say number one. Um, so, yeah. Number one is to be open. And number two is to be gentle. You mean don't judge yourself. When you say yeah, no, no judgment. Yeah, yeah. But also, <laughs> yeah. it's like what I mean. You could go in the route like, what am I interested in? What am I passionate about? What inspires me? Or do I want to challenge myself? So those are other couple options, right? Right. Yeah. I'm thinking like you know. I think that there might be people out there that are taking art breaks and just might not know it. And they just might need to turn on that part of them, them that recognizes that. So mm -hmm. example that pops to my head is people who enjoy walking on trails, mm -hmm. walking out in the woods or um, jogging on the beach. Um, you know, that to me can easily be an art break. But it's how, just like you always talk about, it's um, the intention. What's mm -hmm. the intention behind it? It's about, about perspective. How are you viewing that time? You know, are you jogging on the beach just, just, to, just to get enough exercise and get that checked off your list for the day? Or are you jogging on the beach and li listening to the waves and your, the way your feet hit the ground and, and sort of the music of life around you, right? Just imagine those two scenarios. Right. Of the experience of either one. So I actually think that there's a lot of people out there that might have found their art break. Mm -hmm. They're not em embracing it yet. Well, I, I think you're right. Cause it's my, what comes to my mind is making food. You know, when I make dinner, I like to make, I like to choose colors that are beautiful. And the plate, when I plate it, it's like a canvas. And then when you taste it, it's just like, you're like, whoa, this is, it's really good and really beautiful to look at. So that's an art break. And I think a lot of people are an amazing cooks and they're very creative at cooking. Um, but I think also to recognize it as like, what are the benefits? You know, what, what are my benefits from making a plate of food look like art? <laughs> you know, how does that benefit me? So there right. needs to be an awakening in that person who's doesn't know they're taking an art break. Like, well, what, what is that benefit? So there needs to be um, mindfulness involved as well. Cause you need to be kind of mindful, like, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not checking this off my list. I'm not putting it in the microwave, you know, I'm <laughs> actually taking time and making this into a creative act. And then I know the benefit is I'm like, I'm in bliss when I'm eating the food, right? So. Yeah. Right. So I think it's, I think that I'm hearing you and it's basically, it's kind of, and, and this is what we want an art break to do for someone. It's snapping you out of that, like, da, 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 da kind of mindset where like, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do that. We can all get into that kind of cycle where we're that, what hamster on a wheel sort of thing. Like, 
I call it like a, you're, it's a robotic thinking. Cause when you were talking like that, you kind of sounded like a robot. Yeah. I'm going to do this <laughs> next. I'm going to do this. I'm going to check it off my list. You know, we I don't... Think I, when I think that, I mean, even as an artist, your art can turn into that. And that's when you really need to take a break. And that's really what we're, what we're talking about, right? The break comes first. It's almost like we need to say, take a break art, but that makes no sense, right? <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's what we're really saying is you take a break and then you, and you turn that break into art, into an art experience, into an art object, and that's the thing is whatever works for you. Most of my art breaking does not end up with anything physical um, at the end. There's no object involved. It involves, um, I'm a mom of three. So a lot of times it involves deep breathing in my backyard, like mm -hmm. counting how many birds fly by or listening to all the different types of birds I can hear at one time. Or we, sometimes we have um, like the wind come through all the trees and I turn it, I turn that into music. And it's for me, um, I, it's an exercise in recognizing that everything is extraordinary and that it's a reminder because you can get, and it's as, as a mom, you can definitely get caught up in the da, 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 da. I have to go to the kids, the kids need to do this and the kids need to do this and the kids, and you forget to enjoy your own children or your own life as a mother, right? And so my art breaks are sort of a way to remind myself of um, those magical moments that exist all the time, but you just have to be open, right? Just like you said, and also gentle with yourself. Gentle and non-judgmental. I thought yes. of something when we first developed Art Break Day, my friend Daniele, um, she had the gallery in San Rafael. She thought it was Art Break, like B-R-A-K-E. So that's a beautiful way of looking at it. Take an art break. <laughs> like, you know, when you're, it's like you're, take your, take, put your, put your, you know, yourself. Put your breaks on. I put love your breaks. That. Yeah. Yes. So I think that's a really uh, simplistic way of thinking about really what is an art break. So what can you do today, you know, for yourself that you just put your brakes on? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Kind of mm -hmm. Okay, so with that, right, mm -hmm. thing about here about like that every art break is different for every person and that the way to really discover it is you have to be open to actually looking for it, but you need to be in that non-judgmental space. Um, what if someone doesn't even know where to start? What do they do? If they're just like, okay, uh, I get it, Lauren and Lisa, you talk about this all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all the time, you just never stop. I'm willing to give it a try, but I have no idea where to start. I don't know where to start my art break journey. How would, what would you suggest to them? Well, I think, I mean, we have developed a beautiful resource on the website, artismoving.org, um, where you can just pop on there. We have the art and everything yeah. calendar. It's a daily kind of like an idea. We have a lot of ideas on our website. You can do that. Or you can even do a Google search and look up, maybe say you're like, oh, I wanna try clay today. You know, I'm interested. I, I, I got some clay. You know, you can even look up an art break with clay. You know, that's the, I mean, the internet is a, an amazing resource for um, finding anything you want. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. I definitely, um, we, we've, filled our website up with a whole bunch of different art break ideas and and with the with the mindset that uh, uh, having a variety that, that you know um, it, that it was good to be diverse with the types of art breaks that we offered and the ideas because um, you know not everybody likes to paint um, yeah I'm thinking also um, I think our our um, definition of art break is like what how can you break out of that box I think when you're talking about that that's a box right I have to do this I have to do that I got to feed the kids I got to do laundry I gotta you know what I mean I got so <laughs> right gotta right? go through the da, da, da. yeah totally so it's like how can you um, break out of that box it's almost like we're, I feel we're asking people to like put the brakes on kind of get out of the robotic thinking 
And I think another way of art breaks is like, what is that? Our brain thinks the same thought of, of in a day, like 62,000 times. And yeah. if you just think about that, taking an outbreak, art break, doing that, just kind of t put a break on and stop thinking that thought that you thought 60,000 times, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, and I think I think so if you were trying to discover your personal art break, you need to find the thing that helps you not get into that robotic thinking. That gives you a break from that robotic thinking. And so for someone who doesn't know what that thing is yet, you know, cuz we might have some people listening right now that are like, "Oh, well, that's baking for me." Oh, that well that's you know, when I ride my bike, uh, that's my art break uh, because I'm in I'm in the flow, right? We talk about the flow a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. And I would challenge those folks to push that even more. Like if you found the flow with your bike ride, right? Next time you ride your bike, um, you know, try to stretch your notion of what, of how that art, that um, bike ride could be an art break. Like, could you write, could you do a bike ride in the shape of a number or words or something? I don't know. Um, <laughs> right? Like, or could you, um, what else could you do on your bike that would be an art break? I gotta, like, you could make a design or something, go somewhere with there's dirt and try to make a design. <laughs> right, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. But like for people who don't even have a thing right now that gets them into that flow, I think the easiest approach is to maybe look at art. Um, so, you know, go to like the Louvre ha has digitized mm -hmm. uh, like almost their entire collection, right? At the mm -hmm. at the point, mm -hmm. which is incredible. Yeah. yeah. The Louvre is full of a variety of art. So so do that and, um, you know, maybe find something that you're inspired by and, and maybe just looking at, uh, looking at art will, will kind of help you start walking towards that, that road of making art. Yeah, I think that's great, great ideas. And I think also, if you are one of those flow masters <laughs> that can get into the flow, um, I, I like to think about this, like, what does my flow feel like? What does it, you know, what does it look like? I mean, like, what is the flow for you? Because I know there's that awesome TED talk on flow. Um, the name I cannot pronounce because it's like this long, but um, <laughs> he talks about the state of flow and what, what it does for you, what it feels like. But flow is so individual towards each, each person. So when Lauren, you're in its flow, what does your flow look like? When I'm in flow, what does my flow feel like or look like? So I think it's really... It's, it's interesting also, I think we're asking people to kind of break it down and kind of think about it, right? Like, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, that's what it is for us. For us, it's an, it's an intentional act of creativity, right. right? Like if you go, if you take me and you take me to like my art, my art concept, right? Me, Lauren, as an artist and art concept, everything that every, everything is art and, you know, all of it is art. But if, if I'm talking more practically and I'm talking about um, the definition of an art break for, for practical purposes, it's that you're, you're stopping and you're intentionally telling yourself, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna hit the brakes. I'm gonna take a break now. And I'm gonna do this because I know that it's, it's going to help me reduce my stress. Um, it's going to, increase my cognitive abilities it's going to mm -hmm. just help me get out of my da 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 da, da, da right for a while yeah <laughs> yeah I, I mean I think, yeah go ahead we always we always say it's like it's epic so, um self-care you know it's really self-care so maybe look at an art break as like self-care like you put on the brakes and you go how can i take care of me you know because you were just saying you're a mom and you're stretched all over you know between your three boys and your life and your dogs and everything. So how can, at one moment in time, you have put the brakes on, taken our break and take time for me. Yes. Right? Yeah. 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 I mean, okay. So I'm still thinking about that person. Cause you know, I always am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
like I don't even I don't even know what you're talking about um <laughs> trying I'm trying to find an art break that will like help them you know get get a couple of steps closer to understanding what an art break can do for them so if you don't have that thing in your life that gives you that flow that flow is when you're not in that da, 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 that robotic thinking if you don't have that yet it's um and you don't feel like looking at art then i would argue that you should get a piece of paper and a pen and you should set a timer for five minutes and you should write down all the random thoughts you have with no judgment whatsoever. Um, and then, and that's it. Like, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to, ju you know, you don't have to try to analyze yourself. Um, you'll probably giggle because you'll probably have some random funny thing, you yeah. know. And you can rip it up. Lisa always is like, rip it up and <laughs> throw it away, right? <laughs> The main thing to do is check in and see how you feel after doing that, because that's what we're talking about, because you're going to feel better than you did five minutes before. Yeah, I would I would also this is OK. I'm thinking of the person who does just doesn't it, it's not coming together. Like, what is an art break? You know what I mean? Because we're talking we're really broadly talking about like it, right. it could be walking. It could be flying it could be you know it could be drawing it could be you know what i mean it could be making food but um what if you do this kind of like think about your day and write down what is happening during your day you know a lot of people are so scheduled and kind of think about the day you know what i mean like very like practical and then figure out where you can incorporate this little break this break where you put your brakes on and then um you know, spend, you know, I think, I think it's important to have that set aside time, you know, I know you can do it on, you can do it automatically when you're like, oh my God, I'm stressing out, I'm stressing out, I need to break, I need to take a break. But I think, uh, especially in our lives, busy lives, you need to kind of look at your life. <laughs> and, you know, maybe it's not being on Twitter for that five minutes, maybe it's not being Facebook for that hour, right? Maybe it's like, you kind of look at your life and where are those where are those areas that you're being sucked away from who you really are right so yeah take a break. like you know what i mean like figure it out where where's what what are you doing with your life <laughs> and then <laughs> you know what i mean and then when you i mean this is all for good it's all for like you know making people healthier people and happier and more joyful and so like when when can you take that break when can you put your yeah. brakes on so i you know i love that advice because I'm the type of person, as I just described 10 minutes ago, that's usually kind of rushing into an art break because I have that warning bell in my in my head and my body that's like, you have to hit the brakes. You have to, um, before you, you kind of flip your lid, you know? And, um, and I keep talking, so uh, we, we try to schedule daily art breaks for my my oldest son um, as part basically as part of school and when we have that rhythm when we keep it it's amazing it's amazing how much our family flows right there you go. that daily art break because we take them together and it's incredible he, you know it's gotten to a point where he makes up his own art breaks to take but we don't we're not perfect nobody is and we skip and then and then I have my rush to an art break <laughs> And then we get back into that rhythm. So that's where the be gentle with yourself and don't judge yourself comes from because, hey, we all uh, get sucked into Twitter and Facebook and are like, where was I? And, you know, that's okay. That's why Lisa's advice to actually schedule it in your life is, is great. Um, because but what I love what you said about when you when you have that scheduled art break in your family your your family life just flows that's another mm -hmm. type of flow it's like things get a little more harmonious right things are not like because I think a lot of times what we're doing is we're kind of putting out the next fire right we're oh, all definitely. running out there's a fire we got to put it out but I think what you're what this beautiful concept is when you schedule an art break your whole life becomes very fluid and then so you can tap into the 
the harmony of your life versus putting out big fires. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully that helps someone who didn't know they were taking art breaks, take them more consciously, intentionally, or someone who's like, what are these ladies talking about? has a better idea of how awesome making art part of their daily life could be. Beautiful. All right. All right. So until next time. Thanks everybody. Okay.